Welcome to IF, videos posted every week from facts and theories to the strange and unusual. Hit that subscribe button and never miss a video again. The internet is a buzz with claims that the earth is flat. Sites debunking and sites proving this fact are on the rise. The one thing both of these groups could be missing is whether the earth is solid. The hollow earth hypothesis has been around for time and immemorial and actually makes more sense. In this video let's look into hollow earth and don't forget to let me know what you believe in the comment section below. Let's get started. The idea of an underworld is a common theme in a number of cultures. The ancient Greeks thought of it as a dark place filled with the souls of those that had died. Christianity has the concept of hell and in Buddhist cultures there is an underworld filled with torment. Most of these beliefs are metaphorical or mythological. Today we have modern science. It tells us that the earth is a series of layers. We start at the crust and travel down through to the liquid magma which is surrounding a dense hot core primarily made of iron. This idea however is recent. During the 17th century many scientific minds followed the idea that the planet is actually hollow. The idea is that the shell of the earth is about 800 miles thick with half of the planet being taken up by surface weight and empty space in the center. In this hollow is an interior sun which would be the earth's core. It provides an energy source for the ecology of all life that is said to be living in this hollow. Hollow earth theorists also claim that we can enter this inner earth through entrances near the north and south poles. So could there be any scientific basis for hollow earth? Edmund Haley first attempted to give hard scientific proof to this theory. Haley had the idea that the planet is a series of spherical shells, think Russian dolls. These different levels spin in different directions starting at the earth's central core. Magnetic anomalies were said to be a result of these layers spinning around one another. He based his readings of the magnetic field on what he had observed with the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon on the earth. His theory could help to explain inaccuracies in magnetic fields of the planet. This theory changed over the years and the idea of rotating spheres was dropped in favor of the idea that there is a single underworld continent. The idea is that there is an impossibly large cavern. This cavern at the very center of the planet is said to be a lush livable environment a flipped version of the earth's surface. A veteran of the war in 1818 John Cleve Sims Jr. published his circular number one of 1812. This book became the most famous and a very successful proponent of the hollow earth theory. The ideas in the publication were very similar to what had been written before however he was responsible for the introduction of the idea that there are huge holes at the north and south poles which allow access to the hidden world. He speculated that this inner earth was packed with life and that there were or are many strange and unusual creatures that inhabit the space and possibly even humans. He believed this theory to be science fact and not science fiction. He also had the belief that this model is common to all planetary bodies and that the whole universe is hollow. Sims kept to his theory despite all of those that said it was an impossibility. He campaigned rigorously for an expedition to the North Pole. He never received the funding he desired and passed away in 1849 still believing that he was correct and hollow earth was real. His idea continued to thrive and over the years many more became believers. In these years after his death 
many continue to write and speculate on his beliefs. These writings then led to a new idea that hollow earth was a cellular cosmology that placed the entire universe inside a shell. Cult leader Cyrus Teed championed this idea fashioned it into a religion of sorts. He called this cult Khorishan and renamed himself Quraysh. This belief morphed from a conceived fact to fiction as many people moved into the 20th century. The Journey to the Center of the Earth published by Jules Verne proposed that the Earth's center was filled with weird prehistoric jungles and highly advanced lost races of humans. His book went on to be made into several successful movies further exposing people to the idea of a world at the center of our own. The modern belief in this world has changed and evolved to incorporate ever more increasingly wild ideas. From Nazi secret bases to aliens and everything in between, at some point someone has claimed that it could be found in the void. This group like flat earthers have their own identification hollow earth truthers. They wish to prove that a lush tropical paradise and the houses of an advanced race of humans slash aliens or even giants can be found there and that the governments and the militaries of the world are hiding this secret from the public. They claim that a race known as the Lumerians are said to inhabit this realm, thought to be peace loving and advanced race they are claimed to have flying saucer technology and live lives of perfect health for hundreds of years. This long life is perpetuated by the perfect climate found in this underground oasis. The animals and the people are said to be larger and far healthier than their counterparts on the surface. It has been claimed that these beings live in a secret city known as Agatha. This belief is often tied to Eastern mysticism. But do we have anything more than mystic beliefs and fantastic tales when it comes to hollow earth? There is one person whom has claimed to have seen it. Admiral Richard Byrd claimed to be the first person to fly over the North and South Pole. According to Bird's secret journal from 1947, he reported flying into one of the entrances and made contact with the race that lives inside the earth. Another tale those that believe in hollow earth claim to be as evidence is the case of the green children of Woolpit. This legend says that two children were found lost and confused in the small English village of Woolpit. These children were said to be normal in every way with the exception of their skin which was bright green. They spoke an unknown language and would only eat raw broad beans. The locals believed that these children came from a place known as St. Martin's Land, a subterranean land populated with a race of green skinned people. Could this be the same place as those who follow the idea of hollow earth believe? Do you think that there is a civilization at the center of our planet? Let me know in the comments below. Please like, share and if you would like to see more of our videos please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Until next time.